The muster drill is a highly important part of your embarkation day, and I'm going to let you know all of the things you really need to know about it, plus give you a tip that's going to make you look like a Disney Cruise professional. Why, hello there, Disney Cruisers. Hello, hello, hello. I'm Ashley. Thank you for stopping back by at the channel. If this is your first time here, I hope that you decide that you want to subscribe and join our Disney Cruiser family. Those of you who are part of our family already, give me a big like down below so I know that you're here. If you do any research at all about cruising in general, you will know that you have to do a muster drill on the very first day. Most cruise lines call it a muster drill. Disney calls it a safety assembly drill. It is required that all passengers attend this drill and it does happen before your ship pulls away and you sail off into the big blue world. Quick, what's that from? Put it in the comments. Now that song is stuck in my head. <laughs> For the safety assembly meeting drill muster thing, you will have to have all of your party present. You will need one key to the world card per stateroom. You will then go down to your meeting spot. They will scan your key to the world card. Once everyone that is required to be in your section is in your section, they will then proceed with the drill. All of the lifeboats are located on deck four, sort of. When you're on deck four and you look up, they're right there above you. So technically, I guess they're on deck five, but you would board them on deck four. All of the safety drill stations are located somewhere on deck four. You could get really lucky and be inside of Puerto Vista Theater, even luckier if you're in that theater and sitting in the seats, not standing on the wall. You could also be put into animator's palette on some of the cruise ships, but the majority of every single person watching this video will be located outside in the sun. Woo, congratulations. There is a chance it could be cloudy or the sun could be on the other side of the ship, but Keep in mind that there's a good chance the sun will be blaring in your face and your children's faces for quite some time. So take some sunglasses or a hat, that'll help. Also, if you are not sitting in a seat somewhere and you are standing up, they will put you in single file lines as a family or as a stateroom from tallest to shortest. So that means your kids are probably gonna be standing next to each other for a little bit of time. Maybe good to have a little conversation with them before you go there so they don't argue and you don't become that family. I say that like it's bad, but it's not. But I guarantee you there's going to be at least one family in your little section who has some sort of a meltdown. But I don't blame them because as smooth as Disney has this process and how entertaining they try to be and how quick they try to be, it is just boring information for adults, especially for kids, and even more so for everyone else who has already started their vacation, had to take a little pause to come to the safety drill and then go back to doing what they're doing. No, sweetie, you can't go on the Mickey slide right now. We have to go listen to what happens if we sink. You can bring whatever you need to keep your kids calm. If you want to bring a slice of pizza, bring them a slice of pizza. You just have to actually be there. When you get to your station, they'll scan your card, so then it'll be logged into the system, and the time has been called for everyone to be there and everyone should be there and they realize there's people missing, they will then, in your section, call out the names and staterooms of people who are not there. If you are one of those people and you show up late, guess what? Not only does everyone know your name, but they also know your stateroom. So, don't be last. Now I want to tell you about a professional tip. Professional as in, you will look like a professional Disney cruiser who knows exactly what they're doing. And I know this because one, <laughs> I'm a professional. And on my first cruise, I didn't do this and it was so boring. On the navigator, which you will probably have to look at on your phone, it'll tell you when the safety drill is. The safety drill will be like blocked off within like a good chunk of time. Like it's like a 30 to 35, 40, 45 minute chunk of time that they tell you when the safety drill is. And then after the safety drill, the sail away party starts. Now just so you know, the sail away party or the sailing away party, whatever party they have going on right now, you won't miss it. They don't start it until after the safety drill. So anyways, it'll tell you the safety assembly time. That time is kind of like when the ship gets ready for it. All of the safety patrol people, the crew, have to be there and stand in their safety position the entire time. You don't. So you'll start noticing the slide shutting down, the pools closing, everything closes because one, they know everyone's going to the safety drill and two, the crew has to go stand in their spots for the safety drill. This does not mean you have to go to your safety drill spot right then. Don't go yet. It'll first say that the crew members have to go to their muster station spots and then later it'll tell you what's going to happen 
Like, it'll say, like, when you hear the seven short blasts followed by a long horn, then you do this. But that's not even when you go because that's just telling you what to do. It's not till a little bit later when they actually do the seven blasts and the long horn. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Pretty sure. I'm sure if I'm wrong, people will correct me. But I'm pretty sure seven short blasts followed by a long sound of the horn something. I think that's almost word for word. You don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to do anything. Stay in your room. Go chill up on the deck. You don't have to do anything until you hear the actual safety muster drill horn sound. When you're going to your station, there's also a whole bunch of people holding up Mickey signs. It's a Mickey head and it has a number on it. Nope. A letter on it. And that'll tell you where to go. You just follow them. You can ask them. It's not hard to find your spot. It's also on the map on the back of your door in your stateroom. Okay, getting off track. Professional tip. Don't go right away. Go when you hear the seven short blasts. You will notice that if you wait to do this, because they can't start it until they actually do the safety drill part. Like they can't start the conversation of how to put the life jackets on until they do the sounding of the horn and actually have the drill. But a lot of people get there early. I don't know why. When you hear the seven blasts, you can go down to your muster station at that time. When you get there, you will probably see the majority of people already standing there, but that's okay. You are not late. You are on time. You are punctual. You are not one of the early ones who've been standing there forever. It's not even until like five minutes after that where they start making sure everyone's there and they start calling off stragglers. They have to get the all clear. And then they start the safety briefing when they tell you how to do the life vests. They say it in English, they say it in Spanish, they do the demonstrations, and then they let you leave and then you herd out and corral out all pretty much inside because you can't get up or down from the outside of deck four. So you all funnel in to the elevators or the stairs. You can check out my elevator tutorial to tell you how to beat the crowd. Come on time to the mustard drill. Be a Disney cruise professional. See you later cruisers. Mm -hmm.